Look, I realize the video is too long, so I'm gonna make this really, really quick for you. I'm gonna tell you who to pick. But if you want to know why, watch the rest of the video. But who to pick? Okay, let me see. Um, I'm gonna give you five monsters that you want to pick. Okay. Um, there's nothing in fire. Okay, there's nothing in fire. Uh, what about water? Like Samarth for arena, but not any arena's not not that important anymore. Nana is a great unit. Liam is used for drought giants be abyss hard. Um, damn. Oh, okay. Adriana one. Tiana two. Fang Yang three. Leo four. Wind Phoenix is used for giants. Um, so that's more important than Liam. Um. I've got four units. Uh, one more, one more, uh, one more. One more unit. Ah, uh, Feng Yang, Leo, Tiana, Adriana. Uh, who's another good unit, man? Who's another good unit? Hey, Gang's good for RTA. Probably Nana, man. Nana? Nana? How is there nothing in fire? Nora? Nana, Nora, Tiana, Feng Yang, Leo. Oh, wind fat guy, obviously. Wind fat guy. That's enough. That's it. Chang Pang. Okay, that's it. The rest is on you guys. Watch the rest of the video. Guys, this is honestly a hard video to make. So I'm just going to be very short, sweet, clear, and very important. As much informative as I can, all right? So, this is for early game players or mid game players, but obviously it's not for end game players because you can see here on my end game account, the Nat 5 selective is very, very easy because we can literally just choose the monster that we don't, we don't have, right? So we can just tick, okay? And I have Sonya, I pick Sonya, for example, you know? And I have, um, yeah, I don't have Amber, I pick Amber. I don't have Ganymede, I pick Ganymede. So for anyone that's end game or mid game or late end game, they know what monster they want. They're obviously going to just get that. For us early game players, now let me show you this. Now for our only early game players, this is my ult, which is I'm working very hard and I've been consistent for over two months, almost three months, building this for Siege. So for early game players, and this is important to me, you have to pick something, okay? And there's there's a lot of there's a lot of things you don't have, you know what I mean? Like Samath or you know, like um Marsha, I don't know, Chiru or Carlos or or, or Feng Yang or Ka Oliver or whatever. Alright, so for early game players, sometimes you might think you need something, then you don't need it or you want something and you never get it and it just makes your progression harder. Okay, so we're, we're going to look at overall. You're going to look at three things that you want to tick off to pick a monster. Three th If it ticks like three things or two out of three things, that's kind of the monster you want to pick, right? Um, or if it can be replaced by other units and stuff like that or free to play units. So PvE, dungeon farming, which you can do with free to play monsters like Vermos, Spectra, um wind homunculus and then you got rta players and then you got siege content players or guild war content okay so if it takes one of one of those things or three of those things this will help you i'll tell you which one ticks those and then you can pick on what you want to do right so we'll just start very very quickly i don't know all the monsters especially new monsters what they do but i do like to point out if you click on the statistics here it updates every single day of what people have picked and fortunately enough, I got lucky. I got the Wind Phoenix and Leo. These are like the top, top, top units that you want if you don't have. Okay. Um, let me tell you this with Rika and Verad. The reason people want Rika and Verad are for TOA. There's one unit that does Rika and Verad's job right there. Okay. Pushes back an attack bar and lends multiple doors. That is the Water Homunculus. Okay. The Water Homunculus does the job of Verad and Rika combined into one. So, 
don't honestly don't go Rick or Varad, okay? Um with Nora, she's used in Siege guild content she's used in arena defense she can be used in rta chung pang also very um what what style <laughs> he can be used in siege he can be used in rta he can be used in arena offense liam is for giants b12 but everyone's using uh luna now uh like i don't know why anyone wants like like is not good at all no one uses like uh wuss is great but Mm, Tiana, amazing, right? You can use her in arena offense. You can use her in siege. So she ticks like two boxes, all right? So let's quickly have a look. And before we get into this, what you have on your account will decide on what you need or what you, what you think you need. If you just started and you're like, oh, I need to get good in arena so I can get glory points, they don't do that anymore. <laughs> but if you're like, oh, I want to be good in arena or I want to be good in RTA, you need a speed leader, you know? You need an Oliver, you need a more or... If you need Siege, you need a Feng Yang, you need a Sonya for RTA and some um, guild content. All right, so let's go. Vanessa, used in Arena, used in RTA, two out of three things, she's good. She has a 33% speed lead. If you're missing RTA and Arena, you can use her. She's great there. She's not used in guild content. Zeros is not used anywhere at the moment. Perna, not used anywhere at the moment. Rakan is not reliable. Juna, great for RTA. Great for arena defense. Some offenses in Siege. Rika, like I said, replaceable. You can use the Grim Reapers. You can use Water Homunculus. You, there's a lot of units that do dots. Laika, not great. Well, uh, Fire Monkey is actually good, but mainly for um, some RTA and some Siege, but not that great. Vela was buffed. Cleanses everything. Puts immunity, but you got other units that are better than that. Uh... Kuma, nah, Raki, nah, Chiwu, Speed Lead, Arena, RTA, um, um, what's her name? I forgot her name. Uh, what's her name? Fire Tiana, Fire Tiana, I forgot her name. She's good for like world records for Rift Beasts and PvE, right? Okeanos, just some RTA segment. Just some RTA, Daphnis, some RTA. Pony is used with zero speed Leon Siege, not used very well in RTA and Arena. Ophelia again with Siege, not much in RTA. Bellinus again, Fire Demon, no. Masha, no. Uh, Jogan used to be good. You can find him in some Siege defenses, but not very, very good. Countered by Leo. Douglas, very well picked, like last pick in RTA, very, very famous for that. He is actually good for that. Carnal, not used so much. Tomaway, she's great. She's got the speed lead. She's got the spread debuff. She's great for TOA. She's great for RTA. Not that great for offenses in Siege. Uh, you got Momo? No, Coco. She just recently got buffed. She's very niche. Jackson, he's good for arena offense with bombs. Some RTA matches. Not very reliable in Siege because it's bombs. Nora, yes, usable. And TOA, usable in RTA, usable in D a Siege. So she ticks three boxes. Carlos, you can use him in Arena Offense. You can use him in um, RTA. And you can use him in Siege. He's he's actually all right. Yes, he's good. This guy has a high base speed, but doesn't he doesn't do anything. Um, Claire, I use Claire in Siege. I don't, I've don't. i never seen him use in um, Arena Offense or RTA. These ones are very... I don't use these. Like, I have them. I don't use them. These ones, I don't know too much about. I know um, she's really good for um, Siege Offense. She's really good for RTA. And she's really good for um, Arena as well. She's one-shot king. I heard this guy's really, really good. Bladeya, again, dots like Rika and Nora. And I don't know too much about this. Now, let's go on to Water. Wusa is a really great unit. Because for um, Arena Offense, not Arena Defense... Can be used in RTA and can be used in Siege. He has a very high base speed and his shield and immunity are really good. Alicia is great for arena offense only, but I feel like she is replaceable by Adriana, which does a lot more because she has a attack lead as well. But um, Adriana just needs a different setup than Alicia. Uh, Poseidon, no, he's using no, no, Poseidon, no, like some very rare, no. Bastard's great again with attack bar for shield. Not seen in RTA, some siege offenses, some 
Yeah, not, not, not as much as popular. So math, again, just for arena defense. Um, RTA last pick, if you're gonna like, if the enemy has no healer, you pick it and it just destroys them with rage. Molong is like, Bovak Molong offense in Siege, right? Amelia, great, she cleanses, she puts immunity up. Um, Josephine is really annoying for RTA. Not for, um, not for arena, not for Siege. She's used in Siege of offense. Amelia, great for arena defense. Can be using some RTA, some Siege. Bovak for Siege offenses. You don't see a ball back in defense. Belial? It's just for giant B12. Alright, Abyss hard. Um, Baba? <laughs> hey gang is very, very popular in RTA. Very, very popular against Clary defenses, but no speed lead, no nothing. Um, more speed lead than strip. Not used in Siege, but it is used in RTA. But not in arena. But he's great in RTA, right? I think he's great in RTA. That's my personal opinion. This guy just got buffed. He's like a five-star tractor. He destroys the enemy. He's got a built-in destroy, but a five-star better base. Uh, Shikuza is great unit. HP leads. She gives two-turn buffs of any buffs that were used in the battlefield and one-turn debuffs on the enemy. So if you use like a Kali or you use a Pontos and you get invincibility, she reapplies those debuffs AOE to the whole team. Shikuza is Shikuza. Shikuza is great for arena, great for RTA, great not for not for PVE. Have we said any PVE units yet? Yeah, Belial, Nana, great for arena, great for siege offense. Um, John, great for RTA. He does really good damage. Same as TOA, not as in offense in TOA. Like is in the TA, TOA team that's been used against you. <laughs> Um, he's a single target AOE, uh, single target all strip, but he does damage based on his speed and he's really good and tanky. Amelia, again, built with Feng Yang. She's like a, a, a Ali, I mean, Aliyah, she's like Amelia. She cleanses one debuff, puts a defense buff, puts an immunity buff. Uh, this is Liam. Liam is the, no, Belial is the Camilla offense in Siege, sorry. And Liam is the Giants hard offense but people are using luna okay minato great he's a vampire build he can be used in defense to stall he can be used in offense he can be seen in rta not pve amber great for toa adriana is one of those good units okay she has so much things she has a skill three with a speed buff attack buff immunity skill two with oblivion and skill one with heal arena attack lead by 44 percent she's amazing if you have tiana she's great with her if you have truffle she's great with her I personally thinking of Adriana on my alt. I don't have her, but I also don't have Tiana. So I don't know. I'm very conflicted right now. I'm thinking about it. Uh, Manon, she was great. She's still usable. He's great for RTA and some some um, some TOA. Manon is more defense based. These guys, I don't know too much about these guys. Uh, going on to wind. Pumback, no very niche offense. Tiana, great unit, great for Siege, great for Arena, great, can be used in RTA, but it's not, not PvE unit. Trident, great on defense, but that is only Arena defense, nowhere else, okay? Hathor, Gany, <laughs> Hathor, Gany, right next to each other, how ironic. Was, we were traumatized for seasons and seasons of RTA with Hathor, Gany offenses. Uh, Hathor, you can sleep TOA. She's not used very well right now. Gany has a very high base speed. He's not PvE, but he can be used in TOA. He can be used in Siege Offenses, sometimes in RTA. Feng Yang, amazing on um, Siege. Uh, not uh, not PvE. You can use it for Eluna, but not for PvE. Special picks in RTA, not for... Um, great for Arena Offense, but not great for Arena Defense. Again, Diana is used in RTA. Oh my god. Should have got water for this video. Sorry, this video is taking so long. Louise, like Awusa, she has an immunity and a shield. She's really, really good. Uh, Druid's not used that often anymore. Does have a revive, but no, the water Druid's better. Odin, great for siege. Defense, offense, great for arena offense, not PvE. Christina, very niche, like Pangbeck for offense. Mephesto, very niche. You know, you use it against um, revivers like Vanessa, Nana, Perna. And stuff like that. Savannah not so great anymore. Changpunk is great. He's one of those like top five units, like Adriana and Tiana is. So yeah. Um, where is um 
Oh, wait, I missed the top ones. Did I miss the top ones here? Sorry, I missed the top ones in the water. All right, let's one second. Camilla, great for Arena Diggy fans. Very, very hard to ruin. Uh, can be used in RTA, can be used in Siege, but again, very, very hard to ruin. But she is great at the moment. Uh, Verad can be replaced. Uh, Teo is very niche. Praha, did I miss these on the fire ones as well? No, no, we did the fire ones. Praha, heal, sleep, strip. Decent unit, no leads, doesn't get used much. Annabelle, three turn AoE defense break. Can be used in Siege Offense with Leo, but you don't see her in RTA or Arena. Chow. Chow's like a trash version of Camilla, all right? He removes two debuffs, he heals, but he's just trash. Water Monkey King is a good unit. He's hard to ruin, very niche to use. Ariel is replaced by Lulu. Chandra has the speed lead. He's great for siege defenses. He's not very well used in arena defenses or RTA defenses. Beth, not so great. We've done already Wusa and Elisha. And then with, with the wind ones, Jemaya, great unit. Can be used with the tablet offense in RTA. He's great for TOA. He's great early game, but not very good late game. There is an offense with Jemaya like Hamunculus. That's like late game offense, but he's still usable. Phoenix, one thing, one thing only. It's PVE dra uh, Giants Abyss Heart. Uh, Lagamaron, very niche. Sierra has the speed lead, not reliable bombs, but she does push back AoE with the skill three when she detonates, even if she misses a bomb. Charlotte is great, but also like TOA ish. Some very niche offenses. Leo is one of those top five units that you want, like Tiana, you want like Adriana. He's no one has his passive, just like no one has Tiana's skill three. No one has Leo's passive. If enemy does damage according to speed, like Tessarion does, like Theomars does, like Sonia does, Leo puts that on zero. Okay, they doing no damage at all. Doesn't mean they're not gonna do any damage, it's just damage is back to zero, which is. Yeah, the scale of speed, like Light Chun Li, right? Light Chun Li can do 40k AoE when Leo's on the field is gonna do 7k AoE. Okay, that's the difference there. Leo's great. You can use him for arena. You can use him for siege. You can use him for RTA. He's a great pick. Monkey King, hard to ruin, but you can use him again for RTA. Some siege, Eladrill again, just a safety net for some like a lab. Siege defense, Ratesh. Good unit, doesn't get used, very tanky, but hard to use, okay? Ethna, same as Ritesh, old school units, no one uses them anymore, but Ethna is used in RTA, she has a very high base speed, but not very much in Siege. Come back, Tiana, we've already gone through, where were we up to? Um, Christina, Mephesto, Savannah, Changpang, great unit, one of those top fives, I reckon. Um, this guy's like Daphnis, but a little bit better. Cigar, AoE, Reset, he's good in RTA. Can be used in Siege, not very much for offense. Gaiu, very popular in RTA. She's annoying like Josephine, okay? Murmur, very niche. I haven't used her, but I haven't seen anyone using her. Oliver, great for RTA. Still great after a couple of nerfs, but only RTA and that 33 speed lead. Um, Car, Dominic. It's a great unit for offense in Siege, but no one uses him, but he's great. Okay, I think he's good, but no one uses invested runes in him, okay? Um, the Wind, this guy is like Orion, but a five star. So if you like Orion, these guys like him. He strips, pushes, changes attack button, debuffs and stuff like that. It's random RNG stuff. He's like a, a Dark Dice Magician or Orion, okay? Sonya, great unit, but only endgame players are picking her because it's a very specific usage for her but she's used in siege she's used in rta she's used in um arena not in pve she i don't know much about these guys um i don't know i heard in the wind and is good she's all right this guy all the end game players if they're not picking sonia the when they're picking the wind fat guy because he is siege meta he is really really tanky for arena He's amazing. He can't be Lucian. He can't be Sonya. He can't be cleaved by Copper. He can't be anything. Okay. Strips, heals, amazing. I think. <laughs> you know what? I might pick him. I don't know who to pick for myself. I might go with. Honestly, I'm torn between Adriana, Tiana, and this wind fat guy. All right. That's who I'm torn about. I do want a speed lead. 
but I'm okay without a speed law right now because I don't arena's not very important, right? Because the rewards are already given. I'll probably go with Adriana, Tiana, or the Wind Fat Guy for myself. Because I am building a siege account. What I think Yang would be nice. What will you guys pick? I thank God I already have Leo, okay? Because then it would have made it harder for me. What will you guys pick? Uh, hopefully this video helped you decide for you. I'm sorry for wasting your time. And my throat is dry. Okay, thank you for watching. Yalla, bye.